Hey friends, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, I welcome you. I'm back you guys with a Bath and Body Works haul as well as a mini Tory Burch haul to share with you all. So this morning I decided to place an in-store pickup order. Bath and Body Works had the 10 off 30 and they also have a wellness promotion where their wellness items are two for 18 or three for $22. So I definitely wanted to take advantage of the wellness offer because they have released some new fragrance mists from their wellness line that I was anxious to get in store and try out. I was able to try out three out of the four. So I'm super excited to share my thoughts with you all on the mists that I got to try out in store. I've also been eyeing some new items from the new summer release so yeah you guys i definitely love a good 10 off 30 right now candles are 13.95 so that makes the deal even sweeter so your girl picked up some candles a little bit of body care as well as a few items from the summer line that i want to share with you all so if you are into videos like this be sure to subscribe to the channel and also like the video let's get on with this haul so first I'm gonna start with the small bag from Bath & Body Works. This is my in-store pickup. And let's talk about the wellness line first. So I did get to try this Musk Perfume Mist. And you guys, I must say, I love this fragrance. I personally really do like this perfume mist, you guys. I love the pink juice as well as the cute pink bottle, super cute. So this is what the back looks like. So this one is a sheer orchid and airy musk, and it does smell very delicate, you guys. This one runs for $16.95. So I got a chance to try this on my skin in store. I did not want to spray these on those stinky paper strips. I sprayed them on my skin, and I really enjoyed this one. This one actually did last on my skin over an hour because sometimes these new mists that they come out with, they don't have any lasting power. You really have to layer them. So this one actually smelled really good on its own. I'm really pleased with this one, and I must say thus far, out of the three, I didn't get to try the rain fragrance. I'm not sure if Bath & Body Works is experienced seeing some delays with the rain fragrance mist i haven't seen that one in store but i did get a chance to try this one the coconut and also the citrus one and out of the three that i tried i must say i really like the musk there's another version of musk that they offer it has notes of like rice milk that one smells a little bit more spicier personally on my skin and i really like this one better because you have that sheer delicate orchid and this one has a bit more of a sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. It's a beautiful, nice, airy, sweet musk. So I think this one will be great with layering with a lot of my light fruity fragrances. This one is beautiful, you guys, and I really like the dry down on my skin. It dried down to a nice, sweet, airy delicate sweetness that's what i like about this one but this one does lean a little bit more floral but it's not an offensive floral this one is just so delicate airy and i really do enjoy that sweetness so i picked up a couple of these you guys it has a big cap as you can see and i'm gonna spray it because i want to remind myself and i did spray myself down with this once i got in store and yeah this one is beautiful to me it's beautiful it's airy it's clean it's definitely not gourmand but this is more of a clean sweet musk and i'm not sure if the notes are similar to the other musk version that was released prior you don't get any spiciness from this musk this one is much more airy and delicate on the skin and that's what I like about this one. So I think this one is just so pretty and dainty. So I picked that up and here is another one because I know I'm gonna go through this one because I really do like this one a lot, you guys. I'm so glad that they've added fragrance mist to the wellness line. I also picked up a scrub and I have been loving this wellness glowing fruit enzyme body scrub. 
this scrub is so nice it's a sugar body polish um, I must say it gets the job done skin soft and supple after use I have stocked up on these during a prior like $5.95 sale when I tell you when they have a wellness sale that I stock up on scrubs and also body washes I really do stock up so I did want to pick up another one even though I have several in my collection already and I do enjoy this fragrance it's very clean it has a salty sweet mango scent to it that's what I like about this one it does have mango extract so that's that sweet fruit that we're smelling I also pick up another citrus note. I'm not sure where the saltiness is coming from, but I do like the mango fragrance in this. And I like it because it's not overly sweet, but it's like a salty, sweet, clean mango. So if you're looking to feel very refreshed and get a kick of that zestiness while in the shower, this citrus line is so good. I highly recommend. Um, I did get a chance to smell the citrus perfume fragrance mist um, that's also released um, part of this collection here. And it does smell exactly like the scrub however i just don't need a salty sweet mango fragrance to match this scrub i would have preferred a body cream honestly but that fragrance mist is just a little bit too salty for my taste and i just don't want to smell like that so in the shower in the bath is fine but going out it's a bit too zesty salty for my taste so i skipped out on the citrus perfume is for um, that matches this collection I did redeem a free reward and I decided to pick up the fresh Amalfi lemon now hear me out on my opinions about this collection I think the packaging is absolutely stunning it's giving Italy vacation vibes seriously I love the packaging take a look at that and for some reason, I'm not a fan of the fine fragrance mist, you guys. I don't hate it, but I do not like it. I feel as if it needs to be reformulated. That cedar wood in there has a stench that is just a bit too heavy. And the lemon smells great. It's just when you get to the dry down, I feel like the spearmint in it is fine as well. I think it's the cedar wood that's throwing the fragrance off for me. In the fine fragrance mist I couldn't get past the lemon woody dry down and on my skin I get wood and I just did not like the combination of that lemon and cedar wood fragrance notes are lemon leaves chilled spearmint cedar wood citrus you guys I could not do the fine fragrance mist from this collection however the body cream smells much more pleasant i don't get as much of the cedar wood in the body cream and i am wearing this on my hands right now i do get the lemon leaves and then i get more of the spearmint so the actual body cream i can do it smells really good um it smells amazing it's just in the fine fragrance mist I think it's a bit too strong with that cedar wood note that's really throwing it off for me so that's a no-no for me I cannot do that very moisturizing and I just adore the packaging so for a free reward it is reward eligible I did grab the fresh Amalfi lemon okay you guys and I also picked up some candles like I mentioned I decided to pick up Flower Child. I love this design. Uh, when this candle is lit, it's beautiful. Here are the fragrance notes. White Narcissus Cashmere Musk Sweet Cedar Wood. I do love the musk in Flower Child. I think it just brings all the notes together. And this one does not smell very woody to me. I do like the sweetness of the cedar wood. It's a beautiful floral fragrance and I decided to go ahead and pick up quite a few of these during this sale because candles are $13.95 and you also get to use that 10 off 30 as many times as you want. 
I did ask the associate if I could use my 10 off 30 multiple times and she agreed. So that's what I did. It smells so good, you guys. And the packaging is beautiful, you guys. I love how warm and inviting this candle looks when it's burned. And that's what the wax and what those wicks look like. So I'm super excited about this candle. Um, it smells so good on cold. So I did pick up a few of the Flower Child. So here's another Flower Child here. Very, very pretty design. So now I'm going to reposition my camera because I did pick up some new pocket bags that I want to share with you all. So I'm just going to dump all of these out the bag and reposition my camera. Okay, you guys. So this is one of the new pocket bags that I picked up. This one is Starfruit Sangria. This one smells really good. It smells exactly like the candle. So if you hadn't gotten a chance to smell the starfruit sangria candle, it's heavy on the starfruit, which smells a bit pungent. It's definitely a fruit smell that requires some to get used to. It's a bit musky as well as pungent at the same time, but I do enjoy the fragrance. So um, I'm gonna give this a sniff. Yeah, this one smells so sweet. It smells more like a sangria to me in the pocket bag. That's why I love picking up the pocket bags because I feel like these fragrances smell the best in pocket bag form. I love the way they smell on the hands. So, so good. So I only picked up one of the Starfruit Sangria. I actually should have picked up more. But um, my favorite out of this collection is the Sweet Orange Blossom. You guys, this smells so, so good. I let my husband smell this one as well, and he agreed. So take a look at the oranges on the actual pocket back design. I think that is really sweet, really cute. So I'm going to smell this one also. It doesn't really smell very, very fruity. It's more of like an orange floral. And that's what I love about this. It's not overly fruity. It's more like a toned down sweet orange with white florals. So yes, I love this. So I picked up quite a few of these, you guys. I'm just gonna display them out for you guys to see. So I love stocking up on pocket bags as well because these do go pretty fast when there is a good pocket bag sale. So I just decided just to go ahead and pick it up. And I also threw in a Brightest Bloom. I have been enjoying Brightest Bloom and I just continue to pick this one up as well. So that is all the pocket bags that I picked up. And that was everything for that in-store pickup. And I have another in-store pickup that I'm gonna reposition my camera so we can go through those items. Okay, you guys. So I did pick up the Fresh Amalfi Single Wick Candle. And I love the design for this collection for the Single Wick as well. Take a look at that and it has a nice navy blue lid. I think they really did a good job on the design for this collection. So the single wicks part of this collection are $16.95. So they are reward eligible, yay. And it has like a very mild yellow color wax. This is what that wick looks like. And I'm gonna give it a sniff. This one is very fragrant, you guys. Wow, I smell the lemon leaves and the spearmint. I don't smell any cedar wood in the single wig. I'm so happy about that. So on cold, I really do like this fragrance a lot. This is so refreshing. Um, I love a good refreshing lemon. Something about this also is very close to ice lemon pound cake. And you guys comment down below if you think the same. It's not as gourmand, but I wanna say it's the same lemon used as in the ice lemon pound cake. This one is just freshened up with the spearmint note. 
um, but this one reminds me a lot. At first sniff, it reminds me a lot of ice lemon pound cake, except for you just don't get any vanilla in this candle. But there is a sweetness from the fragrance that I do pick up, and I really do like this. So sometimes ice lemon pound cake can be a bit too gourmand, depending on your mood and the season. Um, if you're not in the mood to smell bakery, um, and sometimes I get like that. This one would be a good alternative to that and a very close alternative to ice lemon pound cake. You don't get any vanilla, but there is a slight lemon sweetness and it could be sweetness from the spearmint. I'm not sure, but this fragrance is like a cousin to ice lemon pound cake. Trust me. So I really do like this one. I picked up one of those. And I think I have another one in here. Yeah, I do. Okay, so... Here's another fresh Amalfi lemon. Okay, you guys, I did decide to go ahead and pick up this ice cream cone three wick candle holder, you guys. Take a look at that. I honestly have gone back and forth about the design. If I actually like this, I really don't think I like this, but I picked it up for collection purposes. But you guys, I just think they could have done without the rose gold base. Um, I just, I don't know how I feel about the actual design on this. I know so many people really like it. I'm just, I don't think I'm a fan of this design. I think they could have done better with the color selection for this candle holder. But this one is priced at $34.95. You guys, this is not cute to me. But comment down below, what are your thoughts? This is not cute and I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how would this go with any decor? And that's what that looks like. Maybe it would have looked better if they did the base color and just this like silver tone color, I'm thinking. I'm not sure where they came up with this rose gold. I just don't like that, but Again, I'm happy to have it. Comment down below your thoughts on this three wick candle holder. Okay, I also did pick up another three wick candle in the Santorini Coast. You guys, I'm just obsessed with this fragrance. This is what that lid looks like. I do like the pattern of that. And it's just white wax. This one is such a beautiful summer creamy coconut scented candle mm, it smells so good this one smells like a creamy coconut ice cream you guys and actually if they would have threw in like a waffle cone note that would have been phenomenal because this is a summertime candle they really wanted to have this one smell airy creamy it smells like coconut cream ice cream in my opinion it's just not overly sweet, but I really do enjoy the creaminess of Santorini Coast. Here are the fragrance notes, creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. So this one smells right along the lines of being a gourmand candle. You got the vanilla, you have the creamy coconut, and you have that almond blossom in there. Smells so good, you guys. Highly recommend it for summer. Okay, so here is another flower child in the three wick candle. And then I also have a full crate of candles that I'm gonna take out to show with you all. Okay, you guys, so here are the candles that I picked up during my in-store pickup. I'm gonna try to get these out with my new fancy nails. Okay, so I picked up a Springtime in Paris and I just love the design for this collection. This collection came out early spring and I'm still in love with it. So I adore the fragrance Springtime in Paris. Really, really nice, airy, delicate, floral fragrance. I smell the peach and I just like this version of Springtime in Paris. Ooh, this one is so nice, you guys. Soft peach, lotus blossom, fresh bergamot. So I love the actual notes. They blend well together for springtime in Paris. 
And I remember when this candle first released, everyone was going crazy over this soft peach fragrance. It seems like they've been bringing it back every spring, so I've been super happy about that. This is a beautiful fragrance. So I'm a candle girl, so I mostly go for these fragrances in candle form. I also picked up sweet tea and lemonade of the packaging for this candle as well. This one looks so unique. It looks like you can see right through those lemon slices. So this is what that lid looks like. It is textured. Ooh, and this one, I get more of the tea on cold. So compared to fresh Amalfi lemon, this one is not as lemony. This one, you get more of like a freshly brewed tea, like a summertime tea, you guys. This one is good. So on cold, I get more of the tea scent. Here are the fragrance notes. Brewed sweet tea, fresh squeezed lemons, and sugar crystals. So this one is not overly sweet. And I just hate that they did not re-release the pocket bag in this scent. For some reason, in my mind, I had convinced myself that they were going to do that, but they did not. So I'm really disappointed by that. But I'm happy to be able to experience the candle again. So yes, I did pick up, I believe, just one of the sweet tea and lemonade. And keep in mind, and again, it's heavier on the fresh brewed sweet tea. So if you're not into tea scents and you're looking for more of a lemon fragrance, you may want to choose Fresh Amalfi Lemon or if you're into Gourmand, maybe Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Bath & Body Works have so many different three-wick lemon fragrance options. So they've got like sugared lemonade. There's so many out right now. So just take your pick as to what lemon really works better with your senses. I think it's just a good blend of the freshly brewed sweet tea and the fresh squeezed lemons. I'm happy to have that one. And then I decided to pick up another Blush Amber and Peony. And this collection released a little bit before Mother's Day, I wanna say. So this is what that wax looks like. And the packaging is so divine. Very, very fancy in my opinion. Very fancy in my opinion. I do like that. So the fragrance notes are Sweet Peony, Warm Musk, Golden Pear with natural essential oils. I'm gonna give it a sniff. Okay, so this one is perfuming. The amber is so good. It's a deep amber, so. But you do have to like that peony. That peony is a strong floral in this fragrance, in my opinion. But I like the blush, very soft. It's like a soft musk. The amber is pretty deep, so. It gives it like a richness, but that peony is floral. So I do enjoy this. So I decided to pick one of those up. Okay, so here's another springtime in Paris, you guys. You better pick it up without the lid. Okay, so next up we have Raspberry Rosé and Again, I like the packaging. It looks as if you can see through on this side of the design and it has a very light pink wax and the wicks are pretty tall on this candle here. So, and I thought this candle was really fragrant on cold. I get more of the raspberry and the rosé. It's giving me some sort of bubbliness. It's a very pretty fruity blend, which is why I picked it up. So you have chilled rosé, sweet raspberries, and pink sugar. So I can smell the pink sugar. This one almost smells candy-like to me. And that rosé, I really do like. It gives like a bubbliness. So this one smells like a nice fruity drink. And it's sugary, so yeah, um, I can't wait to try this one out. I decided to go ahead and pick this one up during this sale. 
And lastly, I picked up another flower child. So that's that there. That's everything that I picked up during my Bopis orders. I'm gonna reposition my camera so I can better display everything for you guys and also share with you all my Tory Burch purchase. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I repositioned everything and I wasn't anticipating on picking up anything from Tory Burch today. I just happened to just be browsing in store. One of the associates was taking me around, showing me a lot of the new bags that they just received in store. There were a couple bags that I became interested in while I was in store, but this particular bag really caught my attention, mainly because of the color and recently I picked up a new coach bag and after doing that purchase that seemed to have just sparked more interest in handbags so I actually wasn't anticipating on adding any new handbags to my collection but this one when the associate showed me this handbag I instantly fell in love I fell in love with the color I fell in love with the design everything about it was just me and my style so and i don't have any bag in my collection that is this color and after modeling around in store with this handbag i got many compliments as to the color also triggered a couple more women in store to take a look at this bag so this bag really got a lot of attention but this bag was just so gorgeous. Really wanted to give myself some time to really think about it and do a little bit more research on the bag. And um, I just didn't wanna have to make a second trip and I did not see this bag online. So yes, I did end up picking up a handbag and I wanna share this with you all. So I love how they nicely wrapped everything for me. And here's my receipt right here. Okay, so this bag was just so dainty in my opinion. They turn it around. So this is how they wrap that for me. Very, very nice. And I ended up leaving the store and coming back. And by the time I came back, they had only had like one or two in store. And with the weekend coming up, I knew that this bag was no longer going to be available. So yeah, this bag, you guys. So this is a like winter green or like an ivy color green bag with silver hardware. I absolutely love this bag, you guys. It's very structured. I love the silver tone hardware. Um, lately, most of my bags are gold tone hardware. So I wanted a bag that had some silver tone hardware to it. Um, just makes it a bit more casual. And there are no feet at the bottom, but I love the leather for Tory Burch bags. Very durable, very sturdy. Um, this particular leather is very easy to clean and um, I would say pretty much scratch resistant. It's a pretty durable leather. So it does have a front pocket. I'm gonna take this tissue out here. It does have a front pocket. Um, you won't be able to get too much in there, maybe a couple cards, but I really think it's probably just for decoration. And this is what that silver chain looks like. Lately, I've been into like the Chanel lookalike chains very very nice quality chain on this bag and i love that it has the leather that sits on the shoulder um, so that you don't get like chain indentations um, on your skin on your shoulder you actually can have a piece of leather sit comfortably while you carry this bag so um i'm five five and this bag hits me like right above my hip so it was a perfect length on myself so this is what that bag looks like this is what it looks like in the back so i absolutely love how it's not too flashy 
and I just love the casual look and I chose it definitely because of this green color looks amazing with my skin tone so let me um, open up the bag a bit more and you have the fabric it's a very soft fabric on the inside there and here is another area in the back here and it has the Tory Burch in silver and it does have a zip pocket here so I do like that but I really do like the simplicity of this bag um, very durable again like this bag can be thrown around like it can take a beating that's what I like about this one but when I tell you that it's hard to find a beautiful green like ivy color bag like this one um, I jumped on it so I'm super super happy and this is the back pocket back here and here's the tag so this style is called Robinson convertible shoulder bag and the color is arugula I love that so this bag retails for $448 And the price that I picked it up for was $169. So this is a convertible shoulder bag. And with tax and everything, I paid $183.79. So I thought that this was a very affordable bag because Tory Burch bags can be very pricey. And um, yeah, I wasn't in a market for a new bag, but I'm happy that I decided to bring her home with me. I absolutely love the simplicity of the bag and also the beautiful Chanel like chain. I love that you have the arugula color, um, the arugula green color leather throughout the chain. It's absolutely beautiful, you guys. And I tried this on modeling this around the store and this color just went so beautifully with my skin tone. So it's really hard to come across a nice green color bag. I asked her to pull out all the green color bags that she had available in store. And this one was the best green in my opinion. All the other green color bags were actually lighter. Now they did have like a mint color that was nice, but I feel like those colors, um, it was a bit too, it was a bit too light for me. But yeah, this is the bag that I picked up today. I can't wait to wear her out. Um, I definitely will be wearing her as a casual look. I was very casual today with the fit that I had on today. And this looks really nice on me in my casual fit. So th this definitely would work with black, with brown. You can be casual and comfortable. And I just love the silver hardware where it just gives it more of a casual everyday look. So this one could be like an everyday bag for me because of how durable it is. So yes, I'm really excited about this and I'm going to reposition my camera so I can give you all a final visual of the haul today. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this is the Tory Burch bag that I picked up today. Um, again, the actual style is the Robinson convertible shoulder bag in the color arugula. And for Bath & Body Works, I picked up one glowing scrub, a couple of the new Parfumis from the Wellness. This is the Musk fragrance, as well as a body cream from the new collection Fresh Amalfi Lemon. And also I added some pocket bags to my collection. 
This one is the new Sweet Orange Blossom and also the Starfruit Sangria. Very, very fruity, smells amazing on the hands. And then I also picked up two single wigs in the Fresh Amalfi Lemon Fragrance and the new ice cream candle holder, uh, three wick candle holder, I'm sorry, uh, for summer. Also some more three wick candles in Flower Child, Springtime in Paris, Blush, Amber, and Peony, and also that Raspberry Rosé candle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, leave me some comments down below. What are your thoughts on the new Wellness Fine Fragrance Mist? I would love to know what are your favorites. And if you made it through this entire haul, I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. You're welcome here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.